here with a man known only as the Postal Dude. Yeah, I hate that fucking name. Uh, okay, do you have a real name? Uh, I forget. Kids, don't do drugs. <laughs> Too much green health herb. Or meth. <laughs> Just kidding, kids. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay. So, I've read that you were in paradise before it was completely devastated by the unsolved nuclear incident. Yeah, due to an unfortunate uh, subprime mortgage malfunction, I was forced to relocate to a much nicer neighborhood with my beautiful wife. I'd just been hired by one of America's premier video game companies. Management decided that I was overworked and needed a sabbatical. Nothing personal, man, but you're fired. I used the time to check some errands off my list. Got Gary Coleman's autograph, that was pretty sweet. Picked up some steaks, played with elephants, went to confession, and visited my dad's grave. Cause that's how I roll. Speaking of religion, weren't you at the Church of Dave compound during the massacre? Yeah, it was my Uncle Dave's birthday. I got him one of those bad touch crotchy figures. Those things were harder to get than strangle bait Elmo. Awesome park day at Dave's until the man showed up. I'm pretty sure they had the wrong address. Anyway, it wasn't really a religious cult. It's more like a cheap scam for Dave to hook up with Christian chicks. Apparently they go nuts for the whole, I am the reincarnation of Jehovah, kneel down and watch me play a wicked guitar solo thing. I was impressed. Anyway, after my uh, unfortunate firearms accident, my beautiful wife left me. I was devastated. By then, the neighborhood was lousy with sewer Taliban, and the mad cow Tourette zombie epidemic broke out. So me and Champ decided it was time to get out of town. Besides, about 20 other games were set in cities called Paradise by now. Right. So you were at the Paradise Municipal Bridge when the tragedy struck. Not a zombie, damn it. Fuck. Surprise! 
Wow, that was a really cheap shot. Hope you learned a lot about the fucking health system, Skippy. Fuck this shit! Say, that's a perfectly good box of grenades. I'd hate to see them go to waste. Say, I'm pretty good at this. These guys look scared and cold down there. Would it be wrong of me to want to warm them up? Mom always said not to play with fire, but I hate my mom. Mom 
Mom always said not to play with fire, but I hate my mom. Smells like cremated chicken. Time to parte with Mr. Napalm. Say, that actually smells kind of good. Gee, this bridge rules. There's useful shit lying all over the place. Perhaps some helpful on-screen text will suggest something. Suddenly, the ranking commander appeared. He was impressed with the way I totally did not kill his men. He needed some help because apparently some lunatic was taking out all his guys. He put me in charge of a vital anti-terror operation that I can't really talk about at this time. Make sure nobody touches these bridge controls! Nobody! Got it, soldier? No problemo. I wonder what will happen if I press it. A shiny candy-like button. Okay, I'm going to. No, I shouldn't do it. Nobody's looking. Maybe I can just press it a little bit. Nobody's looking. Maybe I can just press it a little bit. Sure is pretty. A shiny candy like button. Okay, I'm going to. No, I shouldn't do it. I wonder what'll happen if I press it. I wonder what'll happen if I press it. I do it.
convinced there was some kind of miscalculation that caused an unexpected incident with the bridge. Really? That's fascinating. What happened? I kind of felt like my calling was elsewhere and decided it was time to move on. Plus, I had seen things. Horrible things. And, of course, there was that unfortunate nuclear deal that was totally not my fault. I, I mean, whoever it was might not have even known it was a nuke they were arming. Probably. And Paradise was totally destroyed. Tragic. They still haven't found who caused that. Really? That's awesomely horrible. What a shame. And so you ended up in Catharsis, Arizona. Yeah, my car was out of gas. Unfortunately, due to the global economic meltdown. You remember the global economic meltdown? Gas was retarded expensive. Luckily, one of the town's key industries was hiring, and I was perfectly qualified. Okay, champ, you wait out here. Hello, anyone home? I'm here about the temp job. Hello? Good to meet you, kid. You're hired. Apparently, it was the cold and flu season, and Ron's patrons were littering the floor with sticky Kleenex balls. Ron gave me the tools for the job, explained how to use the old fire button to suck up and store the nasty byproducts. Watch it! establishment was besieged by a cadre of angry hockey mobs on a self-righteous mission to clean up the moral turpitude of catharsis. But they had an Achilles heel, an intense aversion to sticky Kleenex wads. Maybe they were allergic. I pity their husbands. Ron strongly suggested that I launch some wads and drive those crazed milfs out of his store. Bitches are insane. Oh, Haters gonna oh, hate. You're embarrassing me. What did my dildos ever do to you? Crazy women are wrecking the place. Game on. I love Mill Frank. I didn't know Valve had a shader for that. Let's go. 
good for your skin, I swear. Eat Magnum Load Pornography. Oh, God, just kill me. You are so good. Come on, who's that? You fucking shot right here. From their cherry pot. Those crazy women are crazy. I blame the lamestream media. Also that other media. My bad. Shit, that fucking hurt! Don't knock it till you tried it. We can't come through when the sleaze merchant out of town. Back to the hell, that's fine! Eat Magnum Load, pornographer. I just lost all interest in sex forever. insane. Don't hurt me! There's plenty for everyone. We can't have anything nice. Game on! That's it. I'll see you in court. Look how I pose this face. Mom, you're embarrassing me. Christ! Look at us. Yes, I almost feel sorry about that. Don't hurt me. Come on, don't hurt me. gonna hate. You are Haters gonna hate. Sweet Lord, no! Come on, it's not the first time you've experienced that. Those crazy women are hey, in watch place. it. I'm gonna sue your ass back to the start. Until you tried it. <laughs> Coming through. What are you doing? Jesus Christ, ayuda me. Mommy, look out, Ato. Look out! Oh, hey, holy it. shit! Coming through. Clean up on aisle nine. Jesus, you babes got issues. Police! Police! Help! Police! Oh my god! Look out! Look out, Otto! <laughs> I see Come on, this. dude! Idiot! Hit him with those snot balls. Someone call a cop! We won't be objectified! Coming through! Bring it, bitch! Sweet Lord, no! Game on! Ah! <laughs> Shoot these bitches full of slip-pies! Police! Watch it! Help! Police! Destroy oh, the filth for baby Jesus!
Look out! What did my dildos ever do to you? This factory's coming down. through! Oh, idiot! Oh, chapete! Bring it, bitch! Coming through! Yeah. Look out, Ato! Lighten up, babe. <laughs> Hey, watch it! Look out! Look out! Oh, idiot! Coming through. Jesus, you babes got issues. Die, filth merchant! That is what I'm talking about. It's good for your skin, I swear. It's amazing! <laughs> Shoot these bitches full of snot wads. Look out, Otto. Hey, watch it! Coming through! Look out! What are you doing? Just lost all interest in sex. Trust me, your husband would approve. Direct hit. Leave our porn alone. You are right so now, babe. Porn is natural. Holy crap. Clean up file nine. Clean up file totally approved. This is Haters gonna hate. Hey, what? Oh, idiot! Those crazy women are wrecking the place. Oh, idiot! I just lost all interest in sex. Look out! Bring it, bitch! Come on, dude. No dodging allowed. Mom, what are you doing here? Mom, you're embarrassing me. Coming through. Are you that man? Hey, watch it. Have anything nice. Holy shit. Someone call a pig, yo. Somebody call Galavision. Jesus, help me. From their cherry pop tarts. Say hello to my little 
little friends. <laughs> oh! Don't hurt me. I ah! love Mill Frangler. Those crazy Someone women are wrecking the place. Snot balls. Look out, Uncle. Run! Ah! This sleaze factory's going down. down. He's just gonna hit. Holy shit! Help! Police! Look out! Those crazy women are wrecking the place! are insane. Coming through. Oh, God, Money shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <please. laughs> That's it. Oh. I'll see you in court. Police, oh. police. Man, after that shit, I'll never be able to look at Milf Wrangler the same way again. From now on, it's strictly barely legal for me. Unfortunately, those bitches scared all the customers away, so I can't pay you. How about I just let you keep that fine piece of hardware, and we call it even. Deal? Uh, can I have free porn instead? I happened upon some guy training another guy how to catch HIV-infected cats. Apparently, some sort of science experiment had gone awry in the previous game and rendered the local cat population a bit psychotic. Lucky for me, the trainee didn't have any aptitude for the job. Of course, I was grossly overqualified. But you know what a sucker I am for humanitarian causes. The guy warned me not to press alt-fire and accidentally snort the catnip, then sent me off to catch and say no cats while he called his lawyer. Kitty, the first one's free. <laughs> run! Run! Get out of here! Hey, watch this! Come on, cats. Know, cats. Free medical grade catnip from the government. No, you are not talking nice kitty. Hi. Oh. Idiot. Good kitty. Oh man, that sucks. Those oh, things are always oh, my god says it's time for me to Gotcha. What I didn't know was that the local Mexi sushi concern had dibs on the local cat population. And they didn't take too kindly to gaijin plunder in their natural resources. But I really needed the cash. Or, I mean, this was a cause that meant so much to me. There was no way I was letting the poor syphilis infected kitties down. My uterus! Not Here, kitty. You can have cheeseburger. I don't want to know what I can Gotcha. Oh, if you're not allergic to pussy, I heard it'll cure glaucoma and hairballs. Police! Police! Someone call a cop! 
I don't feel so good. I blame SpongeBob. Hello. Sup? Look out. Hey, pal. Give me some bucks or I'll follow you home. How you doing? How you doing? Say, you're pretty hot. Someone call the exterminator. This town is infested. Is this candid camera? Damn it, shut up. Awesome little hey. guy. Do I know How you? you? Somebody put a bullet Somebody in your vision. Fucking 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 Come on, Fluffy. You're going to a better place. Oh, idiot. Here, kitty, oh, kitty. Parasite-infested beast. Someone should clear them out. Ah, pequeño bicho repugantes. There's another one. Get it, get it, get it. Whoa. I am the Lizard King. Gotcha. What I didn't know was that the local Mexi sushi concern had dibs on the local cat population. And they didn't take too kindly to gaijin plunder in their natural resources. But I really needed the cash. Or, I mean, this was a cause that meant so much to me. There was no way I was letting the poor syphilis infected kitties down. Sure, I had the safety on just then. I gotta find more of that sweet. My bad. Well, I want more life, fucker. <laughs> When you're talking, Look I it. Is wrong. And another one. I think I need some mop Huh? Listen, you can be in the question. Hey. Sweet little baby. Okay. Awesome little guy. Look at him go. Come on, Fluffy. You're going to a better place. Citizen coming through. Don't throw me like that, Spur. You run my Come on, you furry out. little junkies. Uncle Dude has the high grade shiz for ya. How about we talk? And another What I didn't know was They're always late. Daddy never loved me. Kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm gonna wait five more minutes, then I'm gone. Someone should wipe them out. I didn't know Valve had a shader for that. About the old PP, bro. Nice kitty. I know you didn't try to steal my cat. Police! Oh, I'm a little guy. Stay with my cat, sir. I cut you! Jesus. It's amazing how many cats this jacket can hold. Good kitty.
This can't be She's in a car! Those cats are ours, they say! Human! <laughs> Why cats? Free medical grade catnip from the government. Someone call a cop! It's amazing how many cats this jacket can hold. Oh, look at him go! I heard it'll I feel like shit. Unfortunately, upper management had just experienced a shakeup, and long story short, I once again failed to get paid. This was definitely beginning to feel like a theme. Somehow I found myself at a political rally. The mayor was giving some weird speech about homeland security, family values, and winning the war on drugs. I had just realized the mayor was the fucking porn shop guy without the ridiculous Mario disguise. Then Vince called with a hot job prospect. Hey dude, how's it going, pal? I've got a hot job for you. My head postal babe, Jennifer Walcott, is doing a promo at the mall. But a regular bodyguard got eaten by a feral cat this morning. No problemo, security's my mother's maiden name. Or at least it was a tattoo she had. That's how I ended up running the security detail for Jen Walcott's autograph session. Okay, so here's the deal. Your job is to watch my back while I mix with the locals. It's not rocket science or anything. And make sure you use this. Got it. It's important that nobody gets killed during this little event. So make sure any lethal weapons you brought along stay in your pants. If you attack anyone with lethal force, the cops will arrive and pop a cap in your eye. If I don't do it first, do not fuck this up. Okay, okay, got it. Nobody dies. Hopefully. They're here. Slut, how dare you taint our beautiful mall with your foul conspiracy to objectify all women? It's your fault our husbands can't get it up without porn. Right. That's why. Your very existence is an affront to womanhood, you silicone and Is there a problem, Ms. Walcott? A plague! I Let's repudiate smoke these you. bitches. You're about to wake up deceased. Someone call a cop! Someone call a big yo! Oh, you bitch! Wait, is it politically correct to kill the women and minorities first? Wow, that looks really painful. That's it? Game on! Someone call a big yeah. I've got your money shot right here. Whoops, my finger slipped again. Run the sleaze merchant out of town. Help! Police! I don't like your face, bitch. I gotta find more of that sweet, sweet health stuff. Bring it, bitch. Butt sauce.
Boy, Jen was right. I barely even had a chance to fuck up before the cops showed up in force. Now I had two problems to contend with. The hockey moms and the police. I'm such an asshole. Bring it, bitch! The G pool is stagnant, and I am the Minister of Chlorine. I blame Glenn Beck. Don't worry, it's just like sleeping. Mm, maybe not. Hi, I'm Ashton Kutcher, and you've just been punked. I don't like your face, bitch. I am the death panel. Accident. I feel like shit. Gotta find more of that sweet, sweet health stuff. You know, if you played a little better, this wouldn't happen. I know what you're thinking. Okay. Some of God had joined her. You got to you wake up, bitch! Help me, please! No. I, I got your money so shot fast. right here. This can't be I you, bitch! Please! Say, I'm pretty good at this. My implants! Destroy the filth, baby Jesus! Some of God had joined her. Please! Come on! Boy, Jen was right. You ain't got what it takes. My what sauce? That's it. You're weak. 
Butt sauce. Blame Pac-Man. Officer down. I blame the lamestream media. Also that other media. Wow, I was sure I had the safety on just then. Is it politically correct to kill the women and minorities first? I gotta find more of that sweet, sweet health stuff. Die, creep. Help! Wow, that looked really painful. Whoops! Finger slipped again. fun. Unfortunately, all the customers got scared off, so I can't afford to pay you. Go ahead and keep the taser and the shovel as a token of my appreciation, okay? You know you made this look so easy? I think maybe I'll get the other postal babes together and start my own security service. See you later, dude. She wants me. At this point, the only way I was going to get some scratch was to bend over and take a hot steam and payday loan. Imagine my surprise when there wasn't a crazy long line at the tellers. Finally, it was my lucky day. Until these asshats pissed all over it. The ecotologists were an extremist save the earth cult. Sort of a zesty blend of PETA and Scientology. Anyway, they were apparently executing an armed fundraising drive. Surprisingly, the cops showed up within seconds and the whole thing instantly devolved into chaos. Clearly, I had a decision to make. If I chipped in and helped out the cops, maybe I'd get a reward and be famous. On the other hand, if I sided with the eco-zealots, I heard those granola chicks are animals in the sack. I knew I needed to make a story-altering choice, and fast. The gene pool is stagnant, and I am the Minister of Care. Oh. 
I don't feel so good. Don't worry, it's just like sleeping. Mm, maybe not. Hi, I'm Ashton Kutcher, and you've just been punked. I'm a minority! And the death panel. Please don't kill me! Sweet Lord, no! Oops, hunting accident. Don't kill me, I'm a virgin! Holy fuck! Twenty nephews. I know what you're thinking. You like video games. Zrobią z ciebie kotlety!
Guns don't kill. Close enough. <laughs> and that's how I joined the Catharsis Police Department. Surprisingly, the girl cops are not all dykes. Just mostly. Here. Sorry to interrupt all the irreverent social commentary. That was topic like six years ago. We have an important announcement concerning your behavior. After all, you don't want to be like Mr. Bungle. Yeah, that bad sucks. Patton should have stayed with fate no more. Anyways, homie, pay close attention to the annoying new graphic that's been added to your HUD. This me to keep track of how good or insane you are. And cause we know your attention span is completely devastated by method porn, we made it real simple. That's right, Larry. All you need to remember is lethal force pulls the meter toward insane, non-lethal force pulls the meter toward good. If you complete a mission at 100% good, you get a story altering jokes to make. If not, then screw you. Continue to enjoy the shitty life that you made for yourself. You think I can? What do I get for 100% uh, insane, yo? Eh, uh, nothing. That sucks. Who designed this shit? This important message has been brought to you by Crouch's Tall Salad Emporium. It's health delicious for the whole family. It keeps your bowels regular. Free cucumbers for the ladies. As you probably remember from the news coverage, my first day on the force was quite eventful. It started innocently enough. Lieutenant Douchebag was teaching me how to subdue and arrest dangerous felons. He mentioned how it was extremely important for us to not just kill everyone all the time. In fact, killing innocent bystanders or other cops was just about the only way to get thrown off the force. He told me to practice the arrest moves on a few volunteers. I blame Who's Christian Metal. Somebody call Sesame Street. Oops, my finger slipped. Somebody call an ambulance and ambulance. You go, girl. It seemed the hobos union was upset with our treatment of the volunteers. The lieutenant ordered me to fight my way to the chief's um, special place in the basement and protect him. Blame MTV. Yeah. Bag. Why do you hate America? You goddamn fuckers think you all got my big job belong to you. Well, fuck that. Oh, I blame SpongeBob. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Only my weapon understands me. Somebody call Starfleet. 
I blame the internets. Why do you hate a mortal? Sorry, I swear it's like a matter of control of my own actions. Don't even know who you are, or what this is, or where I am. Shit, I think that's not going on my permanent record. Cyborg communist motherfuckers think you all got I my am the death panel. To you. Well, fuck that! Why do you hate America? <laughs> you goddamn Kenyan cyborg communist motherfucker think you can oh, to you? Well, oh, what this is? Butt sauce. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. I bet you thought you weren't going to die today. Surprise! You know, I never found myself in situations like this back when I smoke chronic every day. Is it politically correct to kill the women and minorities first? Finger slipped again. Yeah, that's what they all say. I blame Christian metal. Be a sport and help us.
sauce. Oh, got my well, fuck that. I don't even know who you are. What this is, where I am. Distributor cap! Loser. I say I'm pretty good at this. My bad. Trench coat. We could use some help. Hey, you. So, Let's go! I know this looks bad, but I'm actually a very nice person. Blame MTV. Guns don't kill people. I do. Motherfuckers think you all got my bases all belong to you. Well, fuck that. Well, I never found myself in situations like this back when I was in chronic every day. Smells like cremated. Oops, hunting accident.
sport and help us. Yo, trench coat! We could use some help! Come on, be a sport and help us! Wow, I was sure I had the safety on just then. Why do you hate America? I'm not gonna win you again, asshole! That probably wasn't very conducive to my staying on the police force. I blame the internet. What sauce? Ah! Hey, what are you doing, moron? Don't kill me, I'm a moron. I know what you're thinking, but I don't even like video. I am. 
am the death panel. Oops, my finger slipped. Guns don't kill people, bullets do. See? That's what that smells like. I don't even know what I'm capable of, Skippy. You go, girl. Extra crispy. Mmm, slow roasted goodness. In the lame stream. Thought you weren't going to die. Today. Surprise. I blame Glenn Beck. That's not going on my permanent record.
So that's what that smells like. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Say, that actually smells kind of good. Why do you hate America? Scumbag. If I keep doing stuff like that, I'll get thrown off the force for sure. I don't even know what I'm GTA's physics are better. You I'm Ashton Kutcher, and you've just been punked. Yo, trench coat! We could use some help. I blame Glenn Beck.
do something! The chief's gay hobo love bunker was empty. Apparently he was on vacation in Mexico. But the lieutenant was duly impressed with my selfless heroism and officially welcomed me to the Catharsis Police Force. I arrived at the ecotologist compound and met their leader, Al. Hey pal, nice to see you. Ready to pick up some apples? It doesn't pay for shit, but it builds character. Ha ha. He proceeded to sell me on a swanky, high-level position in their organic produce operation. Good thing there were no survivors from Cash Mart to identify me. Those guys would have been pretty pissed at me for shanking all their buddies in the previous mission. My new career in eco-friendly produce acquisition was cut short by the untimely appearance of Al-Qaeda. This is it, my brothers. We stand upon the cusp of glorious destiny. In the name of Allah, we will wrest the wonderful badger saw technology from the hands of our tree-hugging infidels. Go now. Destroy these Zionist vegans with fire and angry, vengeful stuff and bask in the lamentations of their kittens. Jihad! And let me know how it goes. I'll be back at the soup kitchen. Today is minestrone day. And you know how the customers get if I open late. See ya! The ecotologist put up a pretty good fight for a bunch of spindly, semi-gay tree worshippers. <laughs> Sorry, I'm lying. They were getting pulled. It was clear they were going to need professional help. Yeah, man, my killer bees are badass, and they hate terrorists. Watch this. Haha, <laughs> 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 just kidding. They hate everybody, so be careful to stay out of their way. Al was really proud of his Africanized bee hybrids and showed me how to lob hives full of them at the bad guys. Then he handed me an armful of the things and buggered off to cower in his panic room. I knew it was up to me to rescue the smelly hippie terrorists from the smelly regular terrorists.
Don't cry out. There's plenty for everyone. Al was so happy that he gave me some beehives for the road. The tree-hugging bastard also forgot to pay me, probably due to all the green health herb they grow down there. Kids, stay in school. So I was no closer to securing that tank of gas. While I pondered my career possibilities, I managed to look like a champ. Unfortunately, the man was keeping him down with a bogus assault rap. He was clearly innocent, but the corrupt legal system sentenced us both to dog training school. Fortunately, there wasn't time for the session to get boring, as a contingent of Mexi Sushi guys burst in. They seemed to be angry with the owner for keeping all the prime cuts for himself. Whatever that meant, I didn't want to know. Shit! We gotta speed up the program! Here, take this laser pen! Use it to direct champ! You asshole. Ah! 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 
Champ managed to get unfairly incarcerated again. This time it was bad. They said he'd be euthanized unless I bailed him out. More money I didn't have. Then Al appeared out of nowhere like some kind of gay Dracula. He'd seen everything and wanted to help. He didn't seem to recognize me from the earlier festivities. It probably had something to do with all the green health herb they were growing down at the compound. He said he had a stake in the local Thegway dealership and could get me a temp job. It appeared that some obnoxious frat guys were turning the town into a drunken Thegway destruction derby. Those drunken pricks are tearing up my best Thegway, and they didn't pay. Get my shit back, and there's a reward in it for you. The job was simple. Repo the motherfuckers. <laughs> Where's the turbo on this thing? Well, don't think this wasn't interesting, because it wasn't. Hey, baby. How about we talk this over? The gene pool is stagnant, and I am the Minister of Chlorine. Blame the internet. I gotta find more of that sweet, sweet health stuff. Sweet health stuff. Sorry, I swear. Control of my emotions. So humiliating. You don't know what I'm capable of. Yeah, that's what they all say. Where's the turbo on this thing?
vehicles now. Very funny, assholes. Police! Police! Doubt this thing's a chick magnet. Die, creep. Well, oh God. Down, scumbag. I know this looks bad, but I'm actually a very nice person. even gayer than it looks. Sorry, man. I invested all my money with Bernie Madoff. But here, have some free Thigway rental coupons. They're sweet. I saw Mayor Chomo again. This time he was giving an oddly particular speech about his crusade against the Malaysian sex slave trade. Uncle Dave was there too. Hey dude, meet me at City Hall later. The mayor's got a special secret job for you if you want it. I needed cash if I was gonna save Champ, so yeah, I wanted it. It turned out our skeevy mayor had some presidential aspirations. He was doing a little house cleaning so as not to undermine the electable persona he was building. Look, man, no excuses. That stupid ball sock mascot had better come through with a plutonium or he's gonna get a vasectomy. Easy, man, it's all good. Kay says he's taking possession of the stuff tomorrow. Shock and awe will occur after your big speech is planned. Then we partay in the repopulation bunker until the fallout settles. Oh, hey dude, 
Glad you could make it. It seems Mayor Chomo was ironically in possession of one of those Malaysian slave boys he was ranting about in the previous cinematic. And it would be an embarrassing prospect if any paparazzi caught wind of it. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Slave boy? That guy's like 40 years old, probably. Er, well, I've had him for a while. I decided not to ask about the creepy Gary Coleman mask. Anyway, the job was simple. Sneak the slave boy out of City Hall without any paparazzi getting pictures. Seemed easy enough, right? Pixel ruined Mayor Chubbo's career. Pixel right Say, I'm pretty good at this. Hey, policia! It's like the apocalypse! media. Also that other media. Jack, 
I'm a virgin. Help! No. Madre of yours. My bad. to pussy. <laughs> I'm the only one left with pins of the 40-year-old slave boy. I'll be rich and buy all your mothers and make them bake me pie. <laughs> Nothing can stop me now. Hey, why is the door locked? Wow, I was sure I had the safety on just then. Go, little 40 year old slave boy, be free. Fucking moron! Do you have any idea how much it's going to cost to cover up all these dead paparazzi? The mayor seemed unhappy. So that was all a wash. No money, and now I didn't even know where Champ was. Mr. Dude. But it turned out the mayor's hot secretary was a spy for the ecotologists. She said the city pound routinely sold all their animals to the evil luscious cosmetics lab. They'd been planning to rescue all the little vivisected kitties and monkeys, but needed an inside man to pull it off. I knew just the guy. I easily landed a cush job in the research division at the evil luscious cosmetics lab. That whole semester at DeVry really paid off. While one of the other science jagoffs impressed his little nerd friends with some kind of remote control monkey, I opened a side door and let my new ecotologist friends come in and play. They began liberating the oppressed lab animals to create a diversion while I searched for the champ. Go forth into the wild and fornicate. Remember me in your will. Be free, little AIDS-infected beasties. Just Google Pam Anderson's address. He'll be fine. My bad. Don't 
say I never did anything for you. See ya. Good luck. and minorities first? Be free, little AIDS-infected beasties. Just Google Pam Anderson. Slipped again. Hey, there's that Jagoff with a remote control helper monkey. Why don't I have a remote control helper monkey? Gene pool is stagnant, and I am a If you're not allergic to pussy. enough. Clearly I'd scored a victory against the industrial science torture complex and exposed their unethical socialist animal death panels to the world. Sure is a nice day, eh, champ? I'm feeling like things are finally going our way. Yo, Cracker Barrel, you look like you need a payday loan, motherfucker. Give me your money, fool, and have a nice motherfucking day. Uh, you 
clearly don't understand how payday loans work. What I understand is that today is payday. Therefore, you got to pay me. If you want, you can give me your teeth as a fucking down payment, fool. Then I'll come find you next week and I'll take that paycheck too. Okay, I guess you understand exactly how payday loans work. Ah, shit. Yo, foul bees off me, man. Christ help me, Jesus. I'm gonna die. Mama. <laughs> Damn it, champ. Not again. Okay, let's move on to your first encounter with Osama. How did you meet him? And what the hell was he doing in Catharsis? Good question. Here's how it went down. Hello? I'm kind of busy right now. You can't be too busy for this. I've got another gig for you, man. Our delivery guy got whacked by a fucking badger this morning. He was supposed to deliver some kids' meal toys to Crotchy over at his new Toss Salad concern. I'd consider it a personal favor if you head over to Talibanigan's soup kitchen and pick him up for me. Okay, I think Talibanigan's is around here somewhere. I'll go check it out. Later. So get this, Osama was semi-retired on a Halliburton pension, running this dirtbag little soup kitchen. It seemed odd that Karachi was getting his Happy Meal toys from Al-Qaeda, but then it was also odd that a cartoon scrotum was selling tossed salad. Who am I to judge? No soup for you, infidel! Ah, hello! You must be the courier for the toys! Come on in, man! Before you go, I need to show you something. See, these toys are hecho in Mexico, you know what I mean? They're all made out of lead and garbage and shit. So you need to be extra careful not to drop them because the children will cry, you know? Oh yeah, I wouldn't want that to happen. Right, okay, so take these to my bro Crachi and do not stop for anything or no virgins for you. I get virgins? Oh wait, no, sorry. As an infidel, you go straight into the eternal tar pit. But don't be sad here. You can borrow my personal segue. It's Rad Pimp, yo. President Cheney gave me that. Thanks. It looks like the tarot monkeys have switched couriers on us. No biggie. He don't look very badass to me. He's gonna go down hard and fast. We gotta snatch that payload before he reaches the toss salad. I blame SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> All I wanted was a crunch of Christmas. Where's the turbo on this thing? <laughs> I blame Glenn. Don't worry, it's just like sleeping. So 
Sergeant Nip. You Hi, I'm Ashton Kutcher, and you've just been punked. What's up? Do you got the brain more from the street than mine? Hunting accident. Holy shit! Oh my god! Somebody go. This is so humiliating. Where's the turbo on this thing? Amazing. This feels yeah, even gayer than it looks. Catch you later. How you doing? Are you talking to me, Holmes? Right. Postal has vehicles now. Very funny, assholes. I seriously doubt this thing's a chick magnet. Amazing. This feels even gayer than it looks. God, I hope nobody I know sees me. from the enemies of freedom. No problemo. Our economy was pretty much bjort.
Amazing. This feels even gayer than it looks. Amazing. God, I hope nobody I know sees me. They're always late. Amazing. This feels even gayer than it looks. Amazing. This Where's the turbo on this thing? Where's the turbo on this thing? Well, I'm not sure. I seriously doubt this thing's a chick magnet. Sailor Moon, I repeat, the squid has bukkake Sailor Moon. Let's collect those toys and hear the lamentations of the women on eBay. <laughs>
Hello. Holy shit! Please ah! <laughs> don't kill me. <laughs> They're always late. Spare my life. I have 20 kids. Come on, come on, Nice catch. Somebody call the box. Hold me a bastard guy. Wait, that didn't come out right. Guns don't kill people. I do. Come on, come on. Believe me, you'll be a present. Mission accomplished. Unfortunately, I was so nervous about getting out of there before the cocksuit noticed the box was empty that I forgot to get paid. <laughs> then I got another call from Uncle Dave. He was laying in supplies for his post-apocalypse repopulation bunker and wanted me to head into Mexico to pick up some Viagra. So there I was in sunny Mexico. Due to the U.S. economic downturn, the place was crawling with Americans. They were jumping the fence by the truckload. And here I thought I was going to stand out. Now I just had to find La Farmacia. Coming through. Look out!
senior citizen coming through. Can you believe all the fetas jumping the border into Mexico? It's embarrassing. What's up, Missy? <laughs> I know. I had to buy an air freshener after what that. What is that supposed to mean? Look out, Ato. <laughs> I know. I had to buy an air freshener after he left. Juan, the helpful pharmacist, informed me that because our economy was pretty much bjort, the dollar was worthless, and La Farmacia would only accept pesos. As usual, I was stuck trying to find some quick employment. Out of nowhere, this guy comes up and offers me a job. Mexico's awesome. Seemed easy enough in theory. I just suck him up with the shop vac and shoot him over, right? No problemo. Oh, chapete. Oh, idiot. Hola. I have no idea why I'm doing this, but I must have had a good reason. Blame Christian metal. even
feel like shit. <coughs> Can you believe all the Juarez jumping the border into Mexico? What is that asshole doing? Oh, that's an old drug smuggler's trick. Those footballs are probably full of Raccoon City gold. What? Nobody runs drugs without my say-so. I'm the boss of that. Tell your men to stop that backstabbing piece of shit. So psyched up about taking out all those corrupt officials single-handed that I threw a little parte in my honor. Unfortunately, no one warned me not to swallow the worm. So I woke up in jail, apparently deported from Mexico as I slept. As I pondered my snot and pubes infested breakfasts, I was propositioned by some ecotologists for an escort mission. Unfortunately, due to my severe ADD, I totally failed to come up with a cunning distraction. But I did notice the Al-Qaeda guys in the corner always seemed so unhappy. I drew a funny cartoon of Muhammad and Jesus with a hooker and a donkey to cheer them up. But I don't think they got the joke. In the ensuing riot, I was reunited with my shop back and Al.
smells like cremated chicken. I blame MTV. Yeah, that's what they all say. Why do you hate America? Have a nice day. Can you move a little faster? I have to pee. I'm here. Can I recommend trying harder? Eat this. I'm pretty certain that getting shot is the you don't crowd. There's plenty for everyone. Clear. I'm confused, but fuck it. It's on, bitch. Hi there. Only my weapon understands me. Terrific work. I'm a rap your package. I blame the internet. Coming through. Why do you hate America? GTA Glad I'm not you. Say, that actually smells kind of good. Sorry, I swear, it's like I'm not in control of my own actions. Shit, I hope that's not going on my permanent record. I'm confused, but fuck it, it's on, bitch!
bacon, bacon, bacon. That's what that smells like. Roasted goodness. That's gonna leave a mark. Guns don't kill people. Bullets do. See? Actually hitting I bet you thought you weren't going to die today. Surprise! I would ride.
Very nice. I want an Xbox! Ain't wanna know why we're rioting? I want an Xbox! Al was quite happy with my escort service and gave me some swell cats. Now that I was free, I could get back to finding Champ and getting the fuck out of Crazy Town. But I was a fugitive now. I needed a disguise, and I knew just where to find one. So, after all my fucked up life choices, I was kind of a fugitive. I figured I could search for Champ more easily if I had a disguise. And I knew exactly where to get one. I mean, Crotchy was like my BFF, right? I knew he'd help me out. Hey, giant ball sack guy, can I borrow your swank costume? It's really important, I swear. The fuck you talking about, cornflakes? Nobody touches the suit. Fine, we'll do it your way. Yo, Tornin! Free action figures for anybody who helps me serve this chump. You dick. person.
I blame Glenn Beck. Obviously, the crotch man forgot how this tango went down in the last game. I'd barely gotten the stinky ball suit on when the teabag's phone rang. It was the gay rodeo pit boss calling to remind Crotchy he was late for the rodeo. All the little gay children would cry if Kay didn't show. Plus, it was a paying gig, so the hunt for champ would have to wait. I love the rodeo. Yeah, it was swell. Okay, village people, cowboy. This is what you'll be barebacking today. I couldn't find any bulls, but I got just something better. Ooh, interesting. There's definitely something I like about it, but I can't put my finger in it. Okay, little oppressed cow brother, you're gonna wage animal jihad on behalf of all your little oppressed bovine friends with the help of a little methamphetamine. Guys, we'll need a distraction while I prepare our little friend for battle. Hey, mascot, you're late. Your job is to amuse the kids and clean up the shit and condoms, and no kids showed up today. So get to it, scrotum. Have a crotchy fucking day. It turned out the main duties of the rodeo mascot was to pick up cow and homo droppings. Since there were no cattle in sight, I tried not to think about where all the feces were coming from. Oh no, not again. I guess I should choose a side. Decisions, decisions.
Guns don't kill people. I do. Yeah, bitch. The ecotologist had whacked the rhino up with enough meth for an entire elementary school. It was Gonzo Shitball's Berserker, and it had a sweet tooth for the pit boss. I knew if I wanted to get paid, I'd have to save his fat ass. I noticed it couldn't turn too quickly, and figured maybe I could piss it off and make it run into stuff until... It got tired and peacefully fell asleep. Hunting accident. Success. Please, please, no! So, the pit boss reveals he's really the mayor in another shitty disguise. Anyway, he lost his wallet in the chaos and can't pay. 
That ball sack didn't transfer the plutonium, but I've successfully infiltrated the mayor's operation. We'll finish the scenario in his speech later today. My gang's running security at the event. What? What's so funny? No, what happened at Altamont? starting to get a little depressed. I've been walking around in that sweaty fucking crotchy suit all day and still no sign of the champ. Trust me, you do not want to know what the inside of that suit smelled like. But then I almost stepped in a huge pile of dog shit full of that fake payday loan guy's blood. Champ had left me a breadcrumb trail. The trail of poo ended at the secret passage to an underground lair. I wasn't surprised at all to discover that the Mexi sushi boys were involved. Sayonara, rancid fucking scrotum suit. Aloha, rancid fucking sewer level. I better not see any crates down here, or I swear some level designer's gonna get shanked. Hey man, I've fought and died in the NAM for your right to give me some fucking shame. Slipped again. Wow. 
Do you fuck us? I am the death panel. Stay the fuck away from me. Don't crowd, there's plenty for everyone. Mexi sushi dirt bags were storing their secret ingredients down there. I could hear someone talking and discovered our old friend Al was secretly the owner of the place. The double dealing bastard was actually reselling the cosmetics lab its own liberated test animals. But I wasn't the only one annoyed at this cheesy plot twist. Champ was apparently running his own rescue mission. and our retreat was blocked. But it didn't matter, Champ had more friends that needed rescuing. But I don't even like video games. Wait, is it politically correct to kill the women and minorities first? What sauce? You punk! I'm about to capitalize on your asses! Recognize you're gonna be picking bits of your wheel off the sidewalk, son! You fuckers! Sorry, I swear it's like I'm not in control of my own actions. You don't want to know what I'm capable of. Hi, I'm Ashton Kutcher, and you've just been punked. Why do you hate me? 
That's what they all say. I bet you thought you weren't going to die today. Surprise! No, I never found myself in situations like this back when I smoked chronic every day. My bad. Blame the lamestream media. Also that other media. I use this! I 
Oops, my finger slipped. on your asses recognized I'm about to capitalize on your asses I am the death panel Success. Champ and I emerged victorious from the smelly underbelly of old catharsis. Dozens of half-maimed little kitties and monkeys in our back. Yo, crotchy phone. Crotchy, where the fuck is the mayor's plutonium shipment? You wouldn't like him when he's mad. Plutonium? What you talking about? Plutonium? Dude, is that you? Hey, Dave. Crotchy is uh, indisposed at the moment. Can I help you? Those toys, you know. The glowy crotchy figures that explode on contact? They're filled with plutonium. Can you bring them to me? There's cash money in it for you. Oh yeah. Like hell I was gonna give away my favorite... Er, I mean... I, it would have been immoral to allow an obvious madman to get his hands on weapons-grade plutonium. So I decided to improvise. All right. That plutonium. I'll bring it right over, man. Okay, so now things get complicated. I arrived at Uncle Dave's theme park and delivered the plutonium. Well, I didn't think plutonium would look so much like a bottle of piss. Dave was so happy he hired me to run the visuals for the mayor's big presidential announcement.
But some idiot mixed up the tapes and I accidentally ran a somewhat compromising piece of video. It featured, among other things, the mayor and Dave performing illicit acts with his 40-year-old Malaysian slave boy and a rhino. There's been a terrible mistake. That video is a plot by the elite liberal media conspiracy. Dave, make it stop! I hope I didn't catch you at a bad time, but either you can pay up for all that plutonium I sent you, or I will reclaim this amusement park in the name of Allah. Capish? Security! Sorry, Dave, but you're all under arrest by the vaguely defined authority of my nebulous government agency. You have the right to detention in our secret prison. You have the right to enhanced interrogation. You have the right to tell us everything you know, you terrorist douche tards. Yeah, bitches. Assume the position. Fuck this shit. I'm out of here. I'm with you, man. Don't leave me. Good plan. Come on, champ. Let's bear. Dave thought he was going to arm his homebrew nuke before the hockey moms got him, but that didn't really work out. Endless hockey moms, like a plague of infidel zombies. We're boned. What are we going to do, David Einstein? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to drink this fucking plutonium before those bitches tear my dick off. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Stupid infidel! Now all our dicks are forfeit!
And so, having battled heroically for justice, liberty, and all the little kittens and retards, I emerged from that shithole victorious. And of course, by now, everyone knows the reception I got. Irony is a bitch. Wow. I am at a loss for words, Mr. Dude. I know. It's tragic. A heartbreaking tale of injustice. Actually, according to our records, it's also pretty much complete bullshit, Mr. Dude. Crap. Well, I had to try. I suppose. Obviously, I have no choice but to send you to your very just and quite eternal damnation. Sorry, I'd say better luck next time, but we don't believe in that Buddhist shit. I regret nothing!